All right. Hello, guys. Hi. Um, it is your girl, Tiff, or aka Holistic Lee Tuffin, are you? Or at least trying to be. So, I hope you guys are doing well. I know it's been um, a few weeks since I've been on the channel, and I actually have um, a couple of things, too, that I want to talk to you guys while I make a target run so i hope you guys are all doing well um it's a little chilly here and i took my coat off so my it won't be rubbing against my microphone but uh but yeah i'm just um yeah i'm just um you know surviving i hope you guys are having a wonderful day so i wanted to get on here and just kind of give like a tiny update uh on what's going on with my mental health um and then i wanted to talk to you guys about some things that have been going on with me i just celebrated my two-year post-op anniversary for my gastric bypass so super excited about that and um so everything looked really good my surgeon said that you know i'm doing really well and um we had to do lab work to you know just check like my vitamin levels and everything so all of my blood work came back beautifully my blood pressure i feel like it was 117 over 70 or something like that which is really good and yeah i'm just you know sticking with um my plan and just trying to just be healthy and just live a more healthy life and i'm not gonna lie to you guys i thought i don't know what i thought at the beginning of this journey but i am so proud of how far i've come um yeah so <laughs> with that said let's jump right into it the first thing i want to talk about is the fact that i was recently diagnosed as suffering from bp1 disorder and as i'm like and i know some of the symptoms mimic adhd i have been seeing a response on the lamictal now what's going on with the lamictal is that the the dosage is 200 milligrams a day but like um, a super popular well i don't know if i want to say popular but a super common side effect of lamictal at 200 when you start at the higher dose is a rash so my um psychiatrist is doing what is called tethering where i started off with 25 milligrams and every two weeks i go up by 25 milligrams so this past monday today's wednesday this past monday i actually started on 75 milligrams of the lamictal and then you know for the next two weeks 100 150 200 until i'm on the 200 a day and so so far my moods have been even but i don't know if that's because i haven't been in a manic state or you know i haven't been like triggered i'm not really sure but the dosage is pretty small so again i don't know if i'm like giving myself a placebo effect or what but i i seem to be like responding well to the medication as of like right now so that's that i am also on because there is a chance of insomnia so i take hydroxyzine as needed like if i can't sleep or anything like that ah uh, let's see what else what else what else what else um i'm trying to think i can't really think of too too much with the medication i Oh, as of right now, so I did gain a couple pounds, but as of this morning, I was one or yeah, 142 and some change. So that by the time I had my anniversary appointment, I was actually down when I say 150, that is all the weight that I lost pre op. Oh my gosh. So I saw the percentage of body weight or extra body weight that i lost and i'm at like 99.38 or something so i literally lost like all of my excess body weight so yeah that's really encouraging to see it's very motivating you know it just basically teaches me to keep going just keep going so 
Yeah. I am actually pulling up to the pharmacy because I had to pick up my refill on Lamictal. So now I wanted to get into what's been going on. So it was in one of my prior, prior videos. I had the amazing opportunity to interview about, you know, my life going through the gastric bypass and like what I'm up to now. And hold on, I have to pull up to the window. Hi, I'm here to pick up a prescription for Tiffany. Okay, thank you. All right, so now I am on my way to go get Duncan. Oopsies. I'm on my way to go get Duncan. I need like coffee in my life. Okay. But um, I'm trying to think, what else did I want to tell you guys? So yeah, Lamictal, which I just picked up from the pharmacy. And then I, oh, update on my drinking. If you don't know, I stopped drinking because, so I have what's called alcohol use disorder. And basically what that is, it's like, I can, it's not that I like, crave alcohol or that I won't, you know, like, I don't want to say like an, like an alcoholic because it's all still a sickness and I'll do a video about that. But basically I, um, well, I'll get into it because it is kind of interesting, my treatment, but I have not had a drink of alcohol since January 1st of this year. And I still can't believe that I have gone that far here let's turn the heat down i promised i was gonna have like some really good car chat but now it's all explained to me like now i see why i can never concentrate while recording and driving at the same time even though it's just like driving with a passenger in the car which i do that without being distracted i don't know it's something about the camera Okay, thank you. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I I talked to you guys. Oh, sorry. I apologize for jumping all over the place. But I did the interview for the news here in my town, like the lo one of the largest local news stations here. Do -do. <laughs> I did that in December, and the piece aired in no. Or I'm sorry, January it aired. Oh, oh gosh. Okay, so. Today, I had an interview with a very wonderful woman, but I was able to um, interview with her because they're actually going to write a piece on me, which is freaking amazing. And I know I'm not the only person who has been successful at gastric bypass or anything or weight loss surgery or any weight loss program or anything like that. Ooh, this is so good. I got a cold brew from Dunkin' without the sweet foam. And I got cream and Splenda. And this is really tasty. It's my first time really having their cold brew. So I like it. Let's see what else. That's just pretty much all that is like going on with me. I will more than likely see you guys at home. So yeah, I'll see you. Hi guys, I have to give these to Cece. Cece girl, if you're watching this, girl, I owe you um, a thing of these. I owe you an extra thing of those. I've been at home actually, and I'm just, um, I'm just uh, chilling. I don't know why I'm out of breath, so don't think like I was doing some freaky deaky. Look at that. My face gets so oily. Ugh. That's why I'm always prone to breakouts, I guess. But yeah, so I made it back home. And, uh, I... Oh, Y'all don't understand. I literally get, uh, oily everywhere. All right. Oh, my hair is a mess. Okay. All right, so y'all, I'm gonna just tell y'all, 
I'm kind of going through this transition. So I will be 42 years old this year and it's, is that better? So I'll be 42 this year and basically I want to start like embracing that. I've always been so afraid to, um, I like myself. <laughs> Seriously, though, I've been so afraid to like myself. And now that I'm learning and doing the work, because that's the thing, like I would always say I wanted to change this or I wanted to improve that about myself. And I guess my talk was like so cheap because it wasn't until recently when I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's the gastric bypass. I don't know if it's my confidence due to the bypass, but I legit like myself and it has been so long. <laughs> so it feels good. And, um, yeah. So you know what, because I'm, I feel like I'm always crying on YouTube. <laughs> But I don't know. I'm a very emotional person. I can't help it. I will always be like that. And I will continue to be like that because that's just who I am. So, but yeah, um, I'm going to wash my face and I don't know. I don't know. Other than that, I think I am going to see you guys later. But if not, I will definitely see you tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna go, I don't know if I'm gonna add this or if I'm going to, so, um, <clears throat> I hate that because um, so basically what just happened was, um, a lot of times when I'm talking, I, so I have this fear of, um, and probably this is because of where I grew up, but I always have this fear of people thinking like, I'm not smart enough, like specifically smart enough. So when I'm speaking, I know the words that I want to say, but it's almost like my brain or my, I'm saying my I'm giving my thoughts faster than my brain is like catching up because I'm thinking about like eight different things so um yeah I, and I finally learned um to just kind of breathe as a matter of fact I, I actually learned that from this girl because I kind of had a like a mini anxiety attack but yeah so and it works it absolutely works so <sighs> okay all right, well, I will see you cool cats and kittens um, tonight or tomorrow. I'm not sure. <laughs>